स्टेप वाइज थिंकिंग स्टेप वाइज थिंकिंग हेल्प इन कन्वर्टिंग कॉम्प्लिकेटेड टास्क इन टू सिंपल स्टेप प्रिडिक्टिंग द पॉसिबल सोल्यूशन टू अचीव द डिजायर्ड गोल इट ऑल्सो हेल्प टू नो अबाउट मिसिंग स्टेप्स एंड गिवस अस चांस टू री राइट द स्टेप्स बिफोर कन्वर्टिंग दैम इन टू एक्शन प्लानिंग एंड ऑर्गेनाइजिंग अ बर्थडे पार्टी और पिकनिक आर गुड एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द सेम वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट ऑल द थिंकिंग वर्कस आर डन इन थ्री स्टेप्स इनपुट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी इनपुट द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एनी इनपुट पार्ट एंड कीप इट इन आर टेम्प्ररी मेमोरी और वर्क स्पेस इन केस ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स वी यूज ईयर्स eyes nose skin tongue for input and in case of computer we use mouse keyboard touch screen and touch pad for input processing processing is the main step in thinking work there are basically three types of works in processing memorizing and recalling the things or data calculating the numerical data logical operations and decision making tasks output finally the result is served to the user this final result is called output we use different paths for this action in human beings we use mouth to speak and hands to write while in case of computers we use printer monitor and speakers as output devices reasoning and problem solving reasoning and problem solving are the main thinking work in this work we compare the things with given conditions for example if someone asks that sejal is 7 years nipun is 9 years and karan is 12 years then who is younger one then we will compare the data and find the result this kind of problem solving needs to analyze the task break up the task in small steps and then find the solution you already know that a computer is an electronic device which works on a set of instructions called programs a computer cannot do any work on its own it depends totally on our instructions in this chapter we will discuss about algorithm and flow chart which are the two important methods to understand the computer programming no more algorithm is a set of step by step instructions written in any spoken language like english algorithm algorithm is a group of steps to solve any particular problem written in simple english it is a division of work into step by step process these steps are written in order to perform a particular job suppose you have been told to prepare tea first of all you will chalk out the steps in your mind and then you will implement them let us see what would be the possible steps to make tea step 1 go to the kitchen step 2 take the required quantity of water in a kettle step 3 turn on the gas stove step 4 put a kettle on the gas stove step 5 wait for the water to boil step 6 put sugar milk and tea leaves into the boiling water step 7 wait for the water to boil again step 8 turn the gas stove off step 9 remove the kettle step 10 pour tea in cups through a tea strainer the above steps are important to prepare tea 
This set of steps to solve a problem is called algorithm. This technique of solving a problem makes programming easy. Algorithm is very similar to the daily tasks written in a diary with proper sequence and time. This technique is supplemented by another technique called flowchart. Flowchart A flowchart is a diagrammatical representation of steps involved in solving a problem. The steps written in algorithms can be represented diagrammatically using a flowchart. There are some special symbols which are used for drawing a flowchart. No more. Algorithm and flowcharts are not fed into a computer but made to help a programmer to write all the steps of a program correctly in a sequenced manner. The symbols and their applications are as given below. Terminal box The terminal box is the starting or ending point in a flowchart. So, it is also called a start or stop box. This box is used in the beginning or at the end of any program. This is oval in shape and while creating a flowchart, we write start or end inside this oval. Input or output box The input or output box in a flowchart is just like a parallelogram in shape. To make any type of input in the computer or to display any type of output, this box is used to write inside it. The statements like input, print, etc. of basic language are used to type inside this box. Process box The process box is rectangular in shape where all the steps involving processing work are written inside it. To calculate the numbers or to assign some values to variables, this processing box is used. In one process box, only one step is written. So you can use as many boxes one by one related to the number of processing steps to be taken. Connector Connector is circular in shape, which is used to connect two statements situated at different places in a program. This is very useful to show the connection of different parts of a flowchart made on different pages. Flow lines Flow lines in a flowchart are the arrows which connect the two boxes and determine the flow or sequence of the instructions used in a program. These flow lines generally flow from top to bottom and from left to right. Decision box Decision box is like a diamond in shape. Decision making is done inside it. In this box, all types of comparisons between the objects can be made. For example, if you want to compare the age of two friends in a class, then the statement which we write inside it is like, is the age of first friend greater than the age of second friend? Therefore, this box purely gives the decision between two or more objects. Some examples are here to show the flowchart with statements inside the boxes. 1. Draw a flowchart to prepare tea for guests. Start. Put the pot on the oven. Add water, milk, tea leaves and sugar in the pot. Turn on the oven and wait for tea to boil. Filter and pour the tea in the cups. Serve the tea to guests. Stop. No more. The flow of a flowchart can be from top to bottom or 
left to right but normally it is written in top to bottom direction second draw a flow chart to convert days into hours start input days hours is equal to days into 24 print hours stop 3 draw a flow chart to go to school start wake up in the morning go to the toilet have a bath wear your uniform have your breakfast carry your lunch and school bag take a vehicle for school and go stop 4 draw a flow chart to add two numbers start input two numbers x and y z is equal to x plus y print z stop 5 draw a flow chart to prepare coffee start take some hot water in a mug add coffee powder in this water beat the coffee with a spoon boil milk in a vessel put hot milk in the mug add sugar to it stir well pour it into cups to serve stop thus it is clear that it is easy to draw a flow chart and make the final steps instead of directly writing the program and making changes in it program a program is a set of instructions given to the computer each instruction of the program tells the computer what to do how is a program made program is written in a special computer language called high level language basic and logo are examples of such language if you want to make a program you have to first learn these languages